All right, guys, this past weekend, we had a pretty big UFC card. Of course, UFC 294. We're going to cover three of my favorite technical things, including Islam versus Volk, uh, Saeed Namagamadov taking on Muin Gafarov, and first of all, Mohamed Makayev taking on Tim Elliott. But I am going to have to put my face in half the screen. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm not good looking, but the UFC might take my channel down. So I'm going to try it. Uh, first of all, Makayev versus Elliott. Elliott's throwing knees here, and Makayev times this peak out so well. Puts him in almost like a body slam uh, type grip and just beautiful way to end up from bottom to top. And he's smiling the whole time because he's a fucking psychopath and I love it. From there, obviously he went from the mount and worked the arm triangle and he finished it in a way that I learned to finish from Craig Jones, of course, of the B team. Craig says always finish palm down because it actually takes away even more of the space from that grip. And um, if you peek in, it's a little hard to tell, but Muhammad is finishing it palm down. And also Craig likes to leave the trailing leg hanging over the body of his opponent, just so that he can control them a bit more and keep that far hip posted on the mat as much as possible to create even more of a squeeze. And Muhammad does that. He gets the trailing leg there. And as you can see, he ends up twisting around and posting on that far leg. And after a while, Elliot, who's a great grappler, by the way, just has to tap. Mohamed well chuffed, jumps over the cage. This geese is happy for him. Has a little jog for some cardio because a fight isn't enough work and gives his mates a cuddle. We love that. Next up, Saeed Namagamadov took on Muin Gafarov, who, by the way, Muin Gafarov, the weirdest body hair composition I've ever seen. He looks like he laid down in some glue and then rolled around in a pet shop, but he immediately bum rushed and went for a double. Uh, Namagamadov grabs a guillotine eventually switches off the grip to a ninja choke with that rear naked choke style grip and sticks the head under the abdomen to get a huge squeeze. Doesn't even need to pull guard or get any kind of body control. Digs his hips under to make it really evil. Gafarov goes to sleep. Namagomedov's well happy. Gafarov wakes up and he's like, damn it. So he throws his mouth guard, bounces up, nearly hits the doctors in the face. They're probably not happy about that because that is not hygienic. Okay, last of all, oh, there's this geezer in the crowd. I had to point him out because he was doing the Khabib, not me, Allah thing, but it wasn't you, mate. You weren't in the, in the cage. He just looks so chuffed with himself. Anyway, of course, the main event, Volkanovski versus Markachev 2. Look at my nails. I went to the number one place in Dubai for a manicure. And these guys, obviously, one southpaw, one orthodox, they're in the open stance, which means kicks to the leg, body, and head are way more devastating because you don't have to worry about the back and shoulders getting in the way. And that is what Islam did. He threw out leg kicks and body kicks to the open side the whole time to get Alex thinking about them so that eventually when he did throw the kick high, Volk wasn't ready for it. And you can tell by the way it ended, which was devastating, shin to dome. But as he goes to throw it, the leg retracts because Volk's thinking about the leg kick. The lead hand comes down and the hips go out because he's thinking about the body kick. And that means he leans even further into the kick, which is awful. And then Islam just hammers his skull like he's building Ikea furniture. And that is it. Islam says, everybody shush. I'm gonna have a nap. And Alex says, ow, my skull hurts. Not surprised that was a pretty fucking evil finish. But yeah, those are my top three technical moments from the UFC on the weekend. What did you guys enjoy? Do you like this kind of video? It's a little bit different from the usual, but I'm an MMA fan as well. I'm sure you guys are too. And yeah, hopefully the UFC won't take this down if I split the screen, but we will find out. Thank you guys, as always, for all the support. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely day.